Welcome back everyone, I'm Danny the Dinosaur Drawer and today we're going to go inside the National Museum of Natural History here in Washington DC to take a look at the epic dinosaur exhibit. So we're going to capture some cool shots of all the skeletons and uh, yeah, just have a fun time. Let's do it. Guys, I think the green parts are the only parts that are fake. The rest of it is real. Well, not fake, they are replicas. But yeah, mostly a complete skeleton. This is such a cool T-Rex. Apex predator of its time. Look at those jaws, massive. Definitely gonna do a speed drawing of this in the future. This may look like a Brachiosaurus, but it is in fact a Camarasaurus. Very cool sauropod. Very massive and thick boned. Not the largest, but definitely a behemoth. Let's be the Diplodocus. Look at that. Whoa. There's the Diplodocus. <laughs> Feed him some leaves. Whoa. It's got like a mean looking face. It's unicorn wizard. Yeah. That's what I was gonna say. Unicorn, unicorn wizard. wizard. That's from Jurassic World Doggy. I'm gonna be welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World Doggy. <laughs> no, seriously, guys. Metrodon Grandis. Mm. Here we have a Smilodon skeleton. So cool. Makes all other cats look like friendly house cats. The teeth on this thing are massive, bigger than any T-Rex teeth. Perfect for biting through mammoth hide. The woolly mammoth can definitely compete with dinosaurs for size. The thickness of those bones, like crazy. So cool if we could bring them back to life, right? Here we have Ankylosaurus, which paleontologists call the living tank. Look at that tail club. Super dangerous. Here we got a unique view of the T-Rex. Look how tall it is, like it's just massive. That's why dinosaurs like make us captivate us so much as kids, is their size, and just they're so unusual and mysterious. There's the Triceratops on the ground. I just realized that if you were a really skilled basketball player, you could probably touch the tail up there. Maybe like 12 feet off the ground of the T-Rex behind me. Stegosaurus and Ceratosaurus. Whoa, getting some cool angles here. <laughs> nice. Guys, comment down below if Ceratosaurus is your favorite dinosaur. I feel like it's underrated. Alright, I want everyone to comment down below which is your favorite sauropod dinosaur. They've got Diplodocus behind me. I think my favorite sauropod would have to be Brachiosaurus because of the Jurassic Park movies. But all of them are super cool. They're so like majestic and gentle giant-like. Um, when you think of a dinosaur, you think of a sauropod, you know, so always have a special place in my heart. If I ever get really rich, I want to have an Allosaurus skeleton in my living room. <laughs> that would be so cool. Guys, we got a great view of the Allosaurus and the eggs. So now you get a better perspective of what's going on here. <laughs> 